This has been a really hard week for me, and I don't really feel like making this video right now because I'm so, I'm so over it. I just want to be done. But apparently I'm not because here I am. I lost two of my cats who I had for 17 years and 19 years. Java and Loki. I should show you a little longer, right? This is them when they were young, back in the day when we actually used film in our cameras and framed photos like this. <laughs> um, so it was really hard. If you've ever lost someone you love and who hasn't in some way, shape, or form, you know it's hard. Um, so I've been up and down all week thinking, okay, I finally cried myself out, and nope, I guess I haven't. But here's why I'm sharing this with you, not just to hash this out again, but I recognize something. There, I had a really interesting insight, and that is that um, as a part of my 60-day inspiration experiment, I have been rating each day on the level of inspiration from 0 to 10, because I'm really looking for what inspires me and what's not so inspiring, right? And it was the day, I think it was actually the day before Loki died. And it was really obvious that both our cats were going to die within days. Um, so I was really emotional. My husband's really emotional. It was really hard. But I had this amazing conversation with um, a mentor and advisor of mine who got really vulnerable and let me see what he wants to bring into the world and it was just it was so beautiful and I was really inspired and I had another conversation with someone and while all this was going on I had a conversation with my coach and you know I just uh it was it was so exciting inspiring um I felt grateful and so in the midst of all of this, I'm at the end of my day, I'm filling out my inspiration meter, you know, how inspiring was this day today? And so I reflected on everything that happened, on all the sadness and pain and everything that transpired. And I gave that day a 10. And I looked at that number I wrote down and I went, how was today a 10? My cats are dying. I'm feeling sadness, deep sadness and grief. And I'm also experiencing this really incredible gratitude and that was the biggest insight in this inspiration project so far and that is that inspiration isn't feeling good all the time living with inspiration doesn't mean that it's like hi i'm happy all the time and everything's awesome because that's not what we come here for in this world right that's only part of the experience that inspiration is being grateful for the full spectrum, for being able to feel everything, everything. The stuff we don't want to feel, the sadness, the grief, the anger, but then on the other side, the, the passion, the inspiration, the gratitude, the love, the peace, all of it. And really feeling that and really being in it allowing it and being grateful for it, that is inspiring. 